Tattoos. What are you doing? Are one of those things that paint a different picture depending upon who you ask. The fact that it's a tattoo, everybody's going to put their own meaning on it, and art is subjective. I've been doing this for almost 20 years. Tattoo artists here say you can no more judge a book by the cover than a person by their ink. We tattoo so many different types of people that you really can't pigeonhole. I mean, we we get. Everybody from the 18-year-old girls who are all giggly when they come in to... I had a woman who was 83 and decided that it was time for her to get a tattoo because her granddaughter had one and the stigma attached to it had dissipated and so she, she wanted one. Keaton has been at this for a few years now. About 17. He tried a few other things before ink stuck. I was only 21 when I started. I tried cooking, I tried photography, and this is what stuck. <laughs> a gift, presumably of passion, from once upon a time became a career path. Well, I had always been interested in tattoos, and when I turned 18, I got my first one. And uh, then, as a divorce present from my first wife, she got me a tattoo setup, and been tattooing ever since then. We had that there. While blood or needles cause many discomfort, one of the customers here says she gets squeamish too, but not from body paint tattooed on her arm by a device that combines needles and doorbell-like electrical currents. I had a babysitter once that didn't believe me that it, and the taste of it made me sick when I was a kid. I couldn't stand mm -hmm. the taste of it. She didn't believe me and she forced me to drink a glass of milk and I puked all over her moccasins. <laughs> Walking into a tattoo parlor for the first time, it's easy to want to get a little better understanding. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, why dip a needle into colored ink, then jab it into a body part? Well, we have to remember that our job, you know, this job, it's a job, so it can be like any other job, and it, it has its own bit of monotony, and we have to remember that shoe, shoe salesmen get asked the same 15 questions a thousand times a day, but aside from that, I mean, they're, you know, People get different things all the time, you know, so it keeps it fresh and, and the personalities we encounter keep it fresh. This customer says she started out in Oregon with a small tattoo on her arm and grew from there. Television. Keaton says that's pretty typical. More people are going for large work instead of just like a small little image. They want to, since everybody has a small little image, you got to one up so you know you get a sleeve instead. This business owner says he wanted to build more than just a tattoo parlor when he opened here a decade ago. We had a bunch of stuff ourselves we had collected and we wanted to be able to share it with some people. The solution? Chris opened his business as a museum and a tattoo parlor where tattoos on arms go hand in hand with history like that of patent number 196747 we have a copy of the patent of an uh, early tattoo machine by Thomas Edison. Keaton and staff say the reason they do what they do is much like that for just about any employee who works face to face with customers. Having conversations with my clients and the friendships that I've made with some of my clients. At least one customer says that after you've figured out what you want your design to look like. I love it. Dave's done most of my ink. It's really important. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it really hard. To make sure it's something you're going to be comfortable with. You're going to be looking at it for a long time, so you better like it. So having your body work of art made to a museum-like quality. Starting out with sleeves is not usually the case. Especially since you're going to be looking at it for a few 24s, probably isn't a bad idea.